Hello and welcome to Leon Eats, the show uncovering the best local food in some exciting areas. Each episode, I'll be joined by some familiar faces with the inside knowledge on what to eat and where. I'm Leon Rotherer, chef and entrepreneur, and I've decided to kick off this series in East London. Today, I'm on my way at Haggerston to meet author, Bake Off presenter, Liam Charles. Nice one for coming down, mate. Nice, no man. Cheers, mate. I'm properly excited. I know you are. <sighs> I love chickas so much. Yeah. We've got a proper East London boy now. Yeah, proper East no, London we do. person. So, um, like, what does what's Haggerston mean for you? Is that like you're Stokey originally, you, right? Uh, yeah, I'm Stokey originally. I used to go to primary school like Central Dawson, so like yeah. Dawson Kingsland. And then like when I was young, I used to my nan used to take me to church like near the Beauvoir, so yeah. like not too far from there. Posh area now, isn't it? You know, like yeah, gentrification yeah, is crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, seeing like the whole area like develop over time yeah. and like having like really like cool food spots and bars and stuff like that, it's really cool. When I used to go to primary school, yeah. no one didn't really want to come to Dawson. Would your mum let you out? Uh, so here, like, so yeah. where, <laughs> I live, yeah, where I live is very secluded. Yeah. It's like a, it's almost like its own like, little village. And then my mum, when I was young, she said to me, don't pass this specific lamppost, did right. it? And I was like, why? Like, why just let me pass? Like, nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> and then sooner or later, I was able to pass the lamppost. And like- <laughs> That know, sounds like it was a real point in your life, though. <laughs> did it, man. And then I like, passed, like, get out of the estate and like, yeah. just seek, you know, just like find my own two feet. But um, nothing before it's time. You're just, you're doing uh, professionals at the moment. Yeah, Bake Off Professionals, Bake -off professionals. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool. What's that leap like though, man? Just straight from like contestant, doing a bit of, yeah, yeah, contestant to presenter? Yeah, I mean, the first series of me doing professionals, I was so scared. Cause it's like, you know, going from, like you said, yeah. from contestant to professionals, like, what am I meant to be doing? Like, hello chefs and welcome yeah. to like, Whoa. do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then like with anything, you know, with experience yeah. and you know, the more you do it, the better you get. So I was 20 when I did the first one. That's crazy. Dude. And now you're with Prue. For juniors. Prue, Prue Leith for juniors. Yeah, that's what? lit. But that is sick because like, she's like 80 odd. Yeah. And I'm like 20 odd. Yeah. So like, and we both love baking and love cooking. Yeah. And so our perspectives are so different but because they're so different, they almost like work as well, yeah. you know? She's very classical where I'm like, oh, why can't you just mix that with that and that and that? So like I teach her and yeah. she teaches me as well. Yeah. So it's a really good combo. And then like Harry Hill is just jokes as well. So it's yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> so now that Hackney's like bursting at the seams and with amazing places to eat, have you got like a few favorites? Some of a few go-tos? <gasps> okay, Jadori. Jadori on Dawson High Road. Oh, is that the um, it's like, skewers? What do you call yeah, it? Yeah. Oh, so I've not Fire. been there yet. Amazing. Fire. It's a place called Rudy's. It does like really good Caribbean food. That's great. Where are you taking me today, okay, mate? So today, uh, yeah, I'm taking you to Chicken Sours. Yeah. Right. And you know, everyone does fried chicken. Yeah. Right. But there's not a lot of good fried chicken out there. However, Chicken Sours is like 10 10. Like I love best. how excited you get about this place, <laughs> Dude, man. I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> The skin itself, yeah, is yeah. a meal, yeah? <laughs> and when you get into the actual chicken, it's a different, oh man. It's a good <laughs> And then the cocktails as well, yeah. bro. And the chicken's like oh. proper good, like from good sauce as it's, well, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's you not you like, know you can, you can tell when you eat it, can't you? Yeah, it's not like battery chicken, no, it's no, like no, good no. stuff as well. Let's go in, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, man. Oh, no worries. Man. I'm um, so excited. Yeah, I mean, they have like pretty much everything you can want in fried chicken. We've got wings, tenders, sides. So I think we're gonna like pretty much have everything. We're gonna go in. <laughs> we're gonna have everything. So like, once you discover this level of chicken, it just cancels out all the high street. It kind of does. It kind of does, does because it's like I'm not gonna lie. Everybody likes a hot wing, right? Like, yeah, yeah, after yeah. A few beers, night out. Yeah, but I just don't know, it's like, once, for me anyway, once yeah. you have like the best thing of something, or when I've experienced something that's like top tier, yeah. I can't really go back. If you think about the, the actual skin itself, and the crust, like, it's like a, it's like a meal in itself, isn't it? and then you can pick it off, yeah? You can pick it off and dip it in the sauce, like, bro, oh I'm God, like, and this, is, and this is why <laughs> I refrain from getting sides, yeah. because there's a, there's a crust of carb around it yeah. and you oh, it's so thick here yeah? it's like when you 
like, you know, rip it open. You see the steam of the chicken coming out. This is so descriptive, I love it. Oh. Cheers. Good one. Nice one. Here we go. And they do amazing dips here too, guys. Look at that. I'll let you go first. Right. You gotta taste right it. Okay. Oh my god. Bloody hell, guys, this is insane. Insane crispiness to this chicken. Steam pouring out. Look how juicy it is. And the sauces are amazing, not just standard mayo. Now, this is the compound. Oh. <laughs> Look at this. Crushed peanuts, chili, spring onion. So, I saw this one. Where did I see it? I think I saw it on YouTube. Yeah. So, you kind of hold it here, yeah? yeah. And you kind of want to put the whole thing in your mouth. Okay. So, it's like. Mm. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? I told you, it's looking up. Oh my god. That is insane. Fiery hot, sticky mm. sweet, crispy batter, chewy. And the meat's amazing. It's amazing quality chicken here, isn't it? So this is battered, chili, sesame. Looks incredible. What is there? Yeah? Well good. Mmm. Szechuan, Szechuan aubergine. That's what it is. Szechuan mm. aubergine. See, I'm not really a massive fan of aubergine, you know? No. But because mm. for me, it was like a thing about the texture. Mm -hmm. But because it has that crust around the edge. It's not just pure, so. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, no. okay, I'm gonna have one of these. Actually, no, we haven't tried the tenders. No, yet. no, let's go in tenders. Tenders, tenders, tenders. Yeah. And we're going with this dip, yeah. Mmm. Now, yeah, this, is, this is proper. But I love the cumin on it. The cumin's amazing. Bang bang cucumbers, yeah. Bang bang cucumbers. <clears throat> because it's so warm and like deep in flavour, you just need something to like refresh your palate. Oh, these are so good, man. They're hot, juicy, covered in peanuts, crispy onions. This is what I'm talking about. <laughs> look how big this piece of chicken <laughs> is, bro. Oh my god, look at this. Like, the skin. Try to buy it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tear it off. Look, gonna... But rip off the skin first. Do you see what I'm saying? Look at this. I told you, I told oh. you. What? I, it's like another meal in itself. This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is the crunchiest chicken skin I've ever had without that. Oh my God. And you said that steam coming out. This is look, look, look. How did they even get it this crunchy? Mm. Oh my god. Mate, anyway, tell me a bit about your last book. The idea was to have a trilogy. Yeah. Is to have a trilogy. Um, but this one's more savory based and it's about, okay. you know, it's recipes that, that are inspired by things that I just genuinely love to eat. It's hard to ask you what future holds for you because you're doing it all, man. When I was 16, 17, I made my nephew's birthday cake, right? Mm. It was so rubbish. It was so bad. <laughs> and I remember I could just collapse on my kitchen floor. Not collapse, I just I just lie down. Yeah. yeah. I had like these things like, imagine if I had like my own show. Imagine if I had this, really? this, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I was like 17, but like, because at that time I thought it was so, not far-fetched, yeah. but I definitely have to put in a massive graph to get it. Yeah. But like, imagine if this happened, this happened, this happened. I think, okay, cool. 10 years minimum, 10, 10 yeah. 15 years. And then I'm only 22 and I've done that stuff. So it's like, for now, I still want to do that, but just at a better level. Like you said, like possibilities are endless, isn't it? And you don't know yeah. where life will take you, but I, yeah, every year I have to see a form of elevation. Yeah. Even if it's a little bit, a little bit of progression. Liam Charles, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for bringing this to Chicken Sours. Thank you to Chicken Sours. And, mate, well, I'll see you soon for a little, little game of temper and bowling, yeah? No, I'll get a yeah, better game. rematch. I'll beat you this time? No, possible. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you so much.